I'm about to blow your mind and show you how to create loads of mini videos from your longer videos in literally seconds with video. It is so cool. I'm going to go off camera so you can focus on the actual goodness here. <laughs> Maybe I can't change that. Maybe I'll stay on camera, but here we go. Okay. So I have this YouTube video that I just recorded live with my good friend, Michael Neely. You can see it here. I'm going to grab that YouTube link and I paste it here inside video. Watch what happens. It's going to start this import. Now the import takes a little bit of time, but you'll get everything set up. You can go do other things, come back and create your videos like that. So you're going to um, start the import, which I just did. And then I'm going to choose templates. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay. I'm going to choose a template. I'm going to use portrait mode because I'm going to make TikTok videos, things like that. And then I already have templates that I've selected that I enjoy. I personally don't like when the titles are all the way up on top because it's a little harder to read. Um, it's a little harder to see the text that's on the very top. So can my camera come down a little bit? <laughs> okay. So nope, it wants to stay there. Okay. So I'm going to take that one off. Um, I'm going to use the ones that I like. Use whatever you like. You can change the colors and stuff later. I'm going to try these. I also like to make sure that I have some that I can do with the um, with a split screen. So I pick a few that are like this, the split screen like that. I'm going to hit continue. Add in your handle there. Done. We're processing the video. Oh, I like this. This can take up to 30% time of your video length. We'll send you an email when it's done. I save my preferences. Then I go here into the dashboard. Now, while we're waiting for this one to process, I'm just going to show you how it works. When you select this review clips, it is going to show you all of these clips from your video that it has selected in different formats with little um, summaries of what's actually written in the video. So what it's doing is it is actually, I don't know why it's taking so long, but what it's doing, we'll find a different one. Hello, internet work. Okay. What it's doing is it's actually using AI to go through the text transcription of your video and to find the really juicy nuggets, which is so cool. So you can scroll through all these different options. This is from me speaking at an event um, in person. And watch. We're going to come to these different options. Notice that it gave me all these other versions too, because like it does reels, it does square. And then it will also do these chapters, which are long form, um, not long form, sorry, which are more landscape, long form landscape mode. Okay. So let's say I'm like how to use AI to incur. <laughs> Let me go look at this. Oops. And then I can read this here. You know, when this little trend was happening, I came to my husband and I said, hey, if you want to create one of those things where your costume's on there, <laughs> right? So this is all about a little social media trend that I did. Now, this one's a little hard to see what I'm talking about on the screen, so I'm not going to use this one, but that could be really good. And there also could be little moments within this that I find that I could use as a really valuable little, little nugget. So like if I keep reading, um, um, here. Watch. Now the secret is not um, a brand new social media tool. Over the years, if you look back um, when all the tools have come out, it's really like this kind of early adopter thing. We all obviously know that because we're here, right? There's this technology adoption curve where as you get an early, you get that where if you get in early, you get that extra bump. If you wait, you become a laggard. We're not laggards. Okay. So we're going to go with that. I know this not makes sense might not make sense to you as I'm reading it out loud, but I'm the one who said it at the event. So I know what it means. <laughs> okay. So we're going to come in here. Um, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to select this piece of the text and that's what I can, what I'm going to come back and use for this event or for this video. Now, what's the trickiest thing about this is finding the moments that are actually valuable. What I love about video is that it finds little segments for you and then you can edit it from there. So I'm going to click edit and download this video. And then I can extend this or shorten it around that, which is so good. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into subtitles and I'm not going to worry about the style of the subtitles yet. If I wanted to, it would be like this, right? So you can change the way that the colors, I'll just change it really quick. So let's go like this. Okay. So it kind of changes the style of it, but watch this. I'm going to go into the editor and I'm going to find that little piece of text that I mentioned earlier, which was right before we are not laggards, right? 
where if you get an early technology adoption curve, okay, that is at 37, um, 37 seconds. So if I go right here, I can see down on the very bottom right there is 36 seconds. So I'm going to bring this over. Oops. I lost it. Hold on. I'm going to go right there. 30. Come on. You just got to slide it over and then it'll bring it right to where that was. So let's go a little further. Let's see. This, this kind of early adopter thing. We all obviously. And again, at this lot, this presentation, you can't see my screen, so it's a little trickier. You really know this because we're here, right? There's this, you know, technology adoption, adoption curve. That's what I want. Adoption curve. Where Great. Now we're here. Okay. I also can drag this and make it so that you can see me. Right? We've got me on this stage, the AI Bot Summit. Here, we can put this kind of in the middle so that it shows up. I can adjust it like this. If I want to, I can add emojis in. Okay, watch. I'm going to turn the volume up. Here we go. Technology adopter curve, whereas you get in adopter curve. Technology adopter curve, whereas you get in early. I got to go a little bit further behind that, but it's taking seconds. You get that extra bump. If you wait, you become a laggard. We're not laggards. We don't need to know this. <laughs> I'm going to just stop it. We're not laggards. Here, right? There's this... You know, technology adopter. Okay. Ready? Curve. Whereas you get in early, you get that extra bump. If you wait, you become a laggard. We're not laggards. We don't need to know this. I can go a little bit further to see like what I say next. And the real opportunity is that when we use AI. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be good. Opportunity is that when we use AI too much, if we don't have the creative juice like it. I like it. Watch. Right. There's this, you know, technology adopt AI too much. If we don't have the creative juice that Perry's been talking about that you put into chat GPT ahead of time, you become a bore. Okay. We're going to go a little further about being boring. Right. There's this T ahead of time. You become a boring zombie content. Okay. That's what we're going to go through. The boring zombie content creator. Right. There's about that you put into chat GPT ahead of time. You become a boring zombie content marketer. Boom. Okay. So now we've got that. Now what's really cool is I can also like auto add emojis in. So watch, it will just add, I can delete this one. We don't need right on there. We can start right at the top. Right. There's this, you know, technology adopter curve, whereas you get in early, you get that extra bump. If you and like this curve is weird. So I'm not going to use that little hook in there, but look, there's all these other um, little emojis here. I don't know what that thing is. We'll delete that one too. Um, you get that extra bump, you wait, right? It's point all these little guys in here. Great. I'm going to leave those on there. And then um, the font settings, you can change the background effect, block effect, whatever you want. You can also add in little elements. So I could add in images or I can add in videos that I could add ahead of time so I can upload my own little things. I can do a progress bar my progress bar color I'm going to do in my brand color, or maybe I make it like bright yellow across the top so you can see it and you can adjust the thickness of the progress bar. You can add your logo. I try not to add my logo too much because then it's like looks too brandy, brandy. And then you can add an outro. So watch this. I created some outros, which I loaded in here. When I add this outro for three seconds, watch what happens at the end. You put into chat GPT ahead of time, you become a boring zombie content marketer. Type show me below for, below for the case study, right? I could do that. Or I have one that says type more below for the full video. And so if I have this one, I just made these on Canva, like super easy. Boring zombie content marketer. Type more below for the full video. Super easy. And I don't have to create a new one every single time. And then I can also um, add text here. So I can say how to avoid becoming... An AI zombie, a boring AI zombie, whoops, marketer. I mean, I'll, that's too long. So I'm just going to say don't become, uh, and boring, <laughs> don't become a boring zombie marketer. And then I can go in here to the styles and I can change it. So it has a little background on it. I can make it bold just so you see how easy this is, right? So easy. Don't become a boring 
AI zombie marketer. And then I can decide how long I want that to be on the screen. So this text doesn't have to go the whole entire time. I had applied a full clip. I don't need to do that. I can leave it on for like three seconds. And so now, if we play the video from the beginning, I'm showing you the whole thing. Right? There's this, you know, technology adopter curve, where as you get in early, you get that extra bump. If you wait, you become a laggard. We're not laggards. We don't need to know this. And the real opportunity is that when we use AI too much, if we don't have the creative juice that Perry's been talking about that you put into ChatGPT ahead of time, you become a boring zombie content marketer. Perfect. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So now I think that's like good to leave. I could do different other things in here too. It also will write the caption for me. So I can say, I want this to be for Instagram and I can say, generate a caption. It takes seconds to do. We don't want to be laggards. Let's get ahead of the curve and use AI to create uh, creative, engaging content. Great. I'll add something about being a z boring zombie marketer as well. Um, I love it. And now it's ready to download. So I can just go download video, downloads it in a high quality, and I have it ready to go on all these places. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Literal minutes, seconds to make this stuff happen. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing because there was just an update recently. So I want to make sure um, I see something else. So that's going to be done. The video can be downloaded. Let's go back and check on that one that I just did. We'll see if it finished. It was an hour long video. So it took a little bit of time. It's not ready yet. Yesterday when I logged in, it looked a little bit different. So I want to make sure I show you what it looks exactly like today. So if you watch this video and it doesn't look exactly like I just showed you, know that I'll be coming out with an updated video soon because it's so good. Oh my gosh. So awesome. And if you want to know more about AI content creator tools, I've got you. Just make sure that you get signed up for our AI Authority Insights AI newsletter. Okay. Bye.